It's Will Martin from the Denver Nuggets. We live, kicking it, and real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk .com. Well, Arthur Domus, Trip Young, and Intern Tom for the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats, man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the cats. What's going on? It's Trip Young back at the 7th Annual Rington Awards Gala, and I'm here with the retired champion, Olympic gold medalist, family member of the Real Fans Real Talk, and, of course, one of the current trainers of the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay Wilder. Oh, and a Brooklyn native, too. Just in case y'all didn't know. Mark Reeland, welcome back, man. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. So what keeps you coming back to, the, to Ring 10 and keep supporting them? Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an ex-fighter, and um, you know, support, I have to support the fighters because, you know, like I said, some of them are down and out. Got to keep them going, you know. And, you know, a lot of them that, you know, they, when, sometimes when they get on their feet, some, some, of, some of them become good trainers. Or just, you know, just need that help just to get them back on their feet to do whatever they got to do. Now, I mentioned you are right now currently training the WBC because he likes to he likes to get that clear. WBC champ, Deontay Wilder. Are you training any other fighters right now? No, not at the moment. I'm getting ready to start. Some, I'm, 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 I'm going to start training some more guys. It's just a matter of getting the right guy. Now, how is it being a retired champ? And then now it's transitioning over to being a trainer, and now you are one of the trainers for the current heavyweight champ. I mean, it's not it's not a bad transition because I when what happened when I when I first well, when I retired, I started training dogs. And I had, I had Neapolitan masters, so I was training dogs, and I'm like, hmm, damn, they listen. <laughs> the dogs listen; they don't talk back. I'm like, damn, but not nah, then. Then a friend of mine was like, Mark, I want you to train this guy. And I'm like, so then I started training fighters again. And, and it worked out. I don't know how well the training the dogs worked out, but, but training the champ definitely worked out very well for you. Um, really quick, Deontay has a big fight coming up with Tyson Fury. How, how's it coming? How's the training coming? Are you doing? I mean, he, stays in, he stays in shape. It's a matter of, you know, probably in another week or two, I'll probably go to camp and then um, start, you know, with the with the sparring and all of that stuff. And, um, but he, I mean, he's great, he's great, he stays in shape. All right, now, me personally, I don't mind using the word ducking, but I feel like Anthony Joshua is ducking the champ. I don't know how you feel about that, though. I mean, ducking, clucking, all together. He, he's high, period, he's high. He don't want to fight Deontay. Is he scared of the right hand? Is that what it is? He's scared of both of them. He's scared. He's scared of the ring just when, when Deontay's around. So that's how you know Brooklyn in the building, because Brooklyn ain't scared to tell you how it is. So I'm going to have to tell you, Anthony Joshua, it's time for you to man up and get in the ring with Deontay Wilder. Mark Breland said you, you're scared. So. He, can get in, he can get in there with all of these guys. Man. Unknown. Okay, you fought perfecting. He's off of that stuff now, So and you can beat him. There you have it. Family to the show, Mark Breland. Thank you always for coming on to the program. Trip Young. FansRealTalk.com Well, Arthur Domus, Trip Young, and Intern Tom For the white and black fans Asia to Manhattan I get all my facts from my bro Mark the Stats, man If you're not tuned in, I recommend the cats